All right, guys, it's time to see if we got some pompano running around here. There he is, fish on. There we go, first fish of the day. Oh, he's swimming like a pompano. What do we got? What do we got? A lady? Maybe a lady? Woo! Yep, we got us a lady. First fish of the day. All right, all right, all right. Lady fish. Just can't pass up that teaser. Oh, I got a big boat coming. I need to get out of the way here. You always got to keep an eye out for boats around here. That is a big one coming. I heard him coming just like he's hauling boogie taters too, man. So am I. Woo! Got the lady, lady, lady. We got a fish, man. I'm excited. I am so grateful for the catch. Come on. Yeah. She slipped out of my hands. There she goes. All right. See how well the Autopilot 120 handles them. No problem. No problem at all. All right. All right, all right, all right. First fish of the day. You guys, I'm out here in my Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120. She's got a 45 pound thrust electric Minn Kota trolling motor that has spot lock technology. You just hit a button and it anchors you right on a GPS location. I've never fished an inlet in this kayak. Now in the inlet, the current is pushing pretty good, but generally what happens here is when I'm in my pedal drive kayak, by the time I hook a fish and I get him off, if I hook the fish up there, I'm usually way the heck down there by the time I get him off and situated and I have to pedal myself way back up here. With this kayak, all I did is hit the spot lock feature and it just anchored me right on a GPS location and it kept me right here in this area where I caught that fish. So I'm loving this kayak out here in the inlet. All right, let's see if we can find a pompano, man. That's the plan. Fishing with goofy jigs today. I've been throwing the yellow with the pink teaser. I'm going to switch it over to a pink and white with a yellow teaser. So guys, we got good conditions today for pompano fishing. I don't know if they're here yet. The water's cooled off. It's nice and clear, and we've got low wind today. It's only about five mile an hour wind, so that's good. All right, Rad Reelers, here's the report. I have been out here like two and a half hours. I've caught one lady fish, and I had one lizard fish follow. I, the tide chart is off, obviously. I, the tide hasn't even been moving just about the whole time I've been out here. Just barely creeping along. So it's turned around now and it's starting to head the other direction. Hopefully it'll move a little bit faster. We can get on some fish, but this has been terrible out here. I mean, it's cold, it's windy, <laughs> and I ain't catching any fish. I just went back to the car and got my jacket, man. This wind is blowing through me. The wind just kicked up. It was five miles an hour earlier. Now we got 10 mile an hour gusts. I'm out here, I'm gonna stick it out. I don't have a lot of confidence I'm gonna catch anything with this much wind, but you never know, man. We'll see what happens. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, fish on, finally. Oh my gosh. Spot lock at JC. And it came straight to the top. I think we got a lady fish. But we got a good fish, doggone it, man. We finally got hooked up, baby. I don't know, it might be a pump. It's a pompano. It is a pompano. It's a pump. It's definitely a pump. I don't think he's going to keep. I don't think he's big enough to keep. We're definitely going to measure him. Oh, here we go. Pompano, baby. The targeted species. Yeah. All right. I've been out here for hours, man, hours trying to find these guys. He's going to be close. He's going to be really close, guys. I think he's going to make it. I really think he's going to make it, man. Good pompano. Really good pomp right there, guys. Nice. We're going to measure him. He's, he's definitely 11 to the fork. He's 12 inches to the fork, man. 12 inches to the fork. All right. And that right there is what I came here for. One pompano in the box. Yeah. 
All right. All right, all right, all right. I like it, man. I like it. You guys, I got the Pompano, baby. All right. Now, here's the coolest thing in the world. As soon as I hooked up on that fish, I'm like, hit the spot lock, hit the spot lock, hit the spot lock, anchor it, JC. It's crazy how you can come out here and fish for three and a half hours. It's cold, man. I mean, this wind is just like, I'm glad I went and got my jacket. And then catch one pompano and I'm all giddy like a little kid now. This has been about 20 minutes since I caught that pompano. I'm making a move here. I'm gonna head up here. Then I'm just gonna shut her down, let the current drift me through until I catch another one. Then I'll spot lock, see if we can't find them again. All right, Mr. Pompano, where are you hanging out? There we go. There we go. Fish on. That's a pomp. Man, he was hauling butt when he hit that thing. That's a good one, too. That's a good pompano right there. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, baby. Good pompano. Oh, my gosh. He was hauling butt when he hit that thing. You can always tell when you get a pompano. You can always tell when you get a pompano because they swim really fast. Oh, yeah, we got a fighter here. Big pomp, baby. Big pomp. The same area where I got that other one, too. Oh yes, definitely a keeper. Definitely a keeper. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, baby. I love catching me some Papa No. Oh, that's a permit. That's a permit. That's a permit. Oh, get in here. Come on, dude. Get in there. Woo! Yeah. Dang, baby. Oh, look, we got a little remora. Wonder if he had a remora on him. That's cool. A little bitty remora. See you, buddy. Woo, baby! <laughs> There we go. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good fish. That's a gold oh, baby. We got a good fish here. Good fish. Oh, I should spot lock, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. No slack in the line, JC. No slack in the line. There we go. Spot lock. Eh, it's not feeling like a pompano, though. He's not making those crazy runs. That's a good fish, though. It is a big fish, no doubt about it. I'm afraid it might be a catfish. I hope it's not. Maybe I, maybe I snagged it. It's fighting weird. It's fighting really weird. I'm not gonna freak out. It might be a snagged pompano. Oh, he got hung up in something, what? He got freaking hung up in something, that's weird. No way. He got hung up in the rocks. He got hung up in the rocks right here. What the heck is that all about? All right, let's see if we can get him to come out of there. No, he's hung up on a stone crab trap. Doggone it. Crap. That's what he got hung on. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna have to break. <sighs> yep. Darn it, man. That was a good fish. Ah, oh, that ticks me off. Oh, beautiful sunset too, man. Doggone, that was a good one. Oh, that was a good fish. Right at sunset, man. Right at sunset. Dang it. Can't believe he got hung up and I didn't even see that rope. Ah, wait all that time to get a hit. All right, all right, all right. I want to go over some of the goodness that I was using out there to catch the pompano and the permit. 
This is my box full of goofy jigs, silly willy jigs, banana jigs, all different colors and weights. And I also have a bunch of teasers in here too, in different colors. Now the teasers I tied myself, you guys, I'll put a link to that video up here. You can go check that out, but watch this video first. I have all different colors of teasers. I actually tied them using a cordless drill. And with the goofy jigs, I have one ounce all the way down to half ounce or no all the way down to quarter ounce goofy jigs and the reason i have different weights of goofy jigs is pompano like current right so when the tide just turns around depending on where i'm fishing i might be using a quarter ounce jig or a half ounce jig but whenever it starts moving really fast i'll switch over to a three quarter or a one ounce jig and the idea here with these jigs and the teaser combination is when the current is moving i'm casting up current on an angle right and then I'm, I let it sink, let it hit the bottom, and then I just twitch it. Just twitch, 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 and just bring it up like that and let it fall down. And do the same. As soon as it hits the bottom again, you'll see your line go slack. Twitch, twitch, and you're reeling up. And it's just you're hopping it along the bottom like that. You're not jerking it really hard. You're just twitching it. And when the current's moving, it'll actually pull it up like that. Now, I like to have my teaser tied up on the line. Um, I've got a video I'll put up here. You can also go check that out, how I tie my, my rig, my pompano rig. Um, yeah, how I get those tied off there. <laughs> I haven't rehearsed this at all. Can you tell? I'm kind of like stammering and stuttering. I can do this, you know? All right, so don't lose your place, JC. So that's why I have the different weights. And obviously, the different colors are, you know, if you can't get them to hit pink, you're going to switch over to green or yellow or whatever. But here's one of the things that I have definitely learned, you guys, and that is the pompano go freaking nutso futso crazy over a yellow teaser. They love yellow teasers. I've caught them on the pink teasers, but I've caught more pompano on the yellow teasers than any of the other colors. And the reason I like to have my teaser up on the line is, look, look at this guy right here. This guy has a little bitty bitty mouth, right? Now that big old jig right there is pretty intimidating to him, but you take a little teaser like that. Now that looks more bite size of something that that guy can eat, right? Now some people, they like to put their jig, they like to put the jig and the teaser together, but look at how big it makes that profile when you do that. It makes it look really big. You have a, a, a better chance of hooking one, right? Because you have two hooks, but it makes the profile look big. So I don't know. What works for me is having the, the teaser separate from the jig. And I also feel like these, these goofy jigs, I feel like they're harder for the fish to key in on, right? Because they're heavy. When you're bouncing them off the bottom, they're going up and down fast. But what happens when you have this teaser tied on a little bit higher, that teaser floats down. It floats down or it's just drifting in the current. It's not as swift or agile as the jig. So that's kind of my theory behind the reason why I rig the way that I do. And I feel like the pompano and the, the permit nailed them uh, that way. So. Anyway, that pretty much covers it with the jigs and the teasers. Now, I've got one other video, you guys. I'll put a link up here as well. It's called Pompano Secrets. I just shared in that video all the different things that I learned when I first started pompano fishing from people who had been pompano fishing <laughs> for a long time, right? And then I was putting the things that they told me into practice, and bam, guess what? It worked. All right, well, look. I'm gonna, I got a couple of, I got the pompano and I got the permit or the permit and the pompano here. And we're gonna go over those. I'm gonna show you guys the difference and we'll talk a little bit about the Southwest Florida size limits presently, uh, according to the FWC. All right, guys, I moved these down to the floor. You can see them better. So this is the pompano, this is the permit. You can see that, let me move them a little closer here. You can see that the pompano is not as wide as the permit. The permit is a lot wider than the pompano is and that the permit right here his anal fin is it's longer than the pompano and also his dorsal fin up here is longer than the pompano but here's the thing you see how long that guy's dorsal fin is if his anal fin was really long like that if it came like over to, over to here where my finger is it would probably be what's called a palometto um, I think that's the way that you pronounce it. But this guy is definitely a permit. And uh, the, the second identifying factor is the anal fin right here 
and here you can draw pretty much a straight line from the where the dorsal fin begins to the anal fin they're almost in perfect alignment with one another and also this guy's got a little bit of a black fin right there now he's lost his color okay uh, i caught these guys yesterday i had them on ice but that's basically the difference between the two i mean they're gonna both gonna have a little bit of yellow here um generally the the uh, pompano tend to have some yellow here as well but man some good looking fish right there for sure all right guys if you have not seen i have a new fillet knife it is a moractum knife and uh yeah i'm going to be filleting this pompano and permit with this knife this thing is awesome look at the tip on that it's got an angle in both directions that's going to make it great for cleaning sheep's head this thing is super sharp in the case you guys it's vented so that if you're sticking a wet knife in there um, it'll drive out dry out stainless steel blade let's get this pompano and permit cleaned up and i'll put a link to the knife in the description area now there's a bunch of meat all the way up here in the head you can feel how soft it is so we don't want to waste any meat on this pompano because this is good stuff so we're going to come way up here on the head and i'm just going to fillet these guys out just make a turn on my knife right there oh my gosh this thing is so sharp pompano have really really soft uh, skeleton structure so i want to be careful here with this guy that i don't cut through his bones yeah i can i can feel them already i'm trying to get on the wrong side of the bones there you just got to go slow when you're cleaning these guys no reason to be in a hurry right make sure you get on the right side of the bones there we go i feel them now i feel them and i hear them there's some fish i will clean really fast but I generally am not going to be cleaning pompano fast because I just don't want to waste any meat. This stuff, I forget how much it is in, the, in a seafood market, but it is really very expensive. So, you guys, it's almost Christmas time. And I don't know if you have seen, but there'll be a link in the description area down below. Salty Scales is such an awesome company they're going to give you guys 25 percent off all of their apparel so there's going to be a link in the description area you have to use code jc25 when you go over there to check out capital jc25 you can get 25 percent off your salty scales gear all right here we go oh man that knife cuts right through there just like butter baby just like butter all right, nice, man, that's a good looking filet. So it's been a while since I uploaded the video. It's not because I wasn't fishing. I've definitely been fishing. I've been posting, I posted some pictures of some bass and I posted the pictures of redfish. I went out with Captain Todd one night. We caught quite a few snook, but those different fishing adventures, either I caught one or two fish or the night I went with Captain Todd, it was cold and wet. And I just, it, it just wasn't working for filming. Every time I turned around, my camera was all smudged up with dew or I had rubbed it with my arm or something. So I just gave up on filming. I mean, if we had gotten into some really big snook, I probably would have filmed, but we were catching a little cookie cutter. But we had a good night. But I tell you, one of the coolest things about having this YouTube channel is as it continues to grow, more and more people will say hi to me when I'm out and about. It used to be when I would only be out fishing that people would say hi. But I, I actually had a guy the other day that worked for an air conditioning company. I think it was air conditioning and heating company. And um, he slowed down in my apartment complex. He says, hey, you're ad reeling or something like that. And that was so cool. And then oftentimes I'll be driving down the, driving down the road and people always recognize me because I keep a kayak on top of my car. They'll start honking and waving and honking and waving. I know, you know, it's because they watch the channel. So I really appreciate you guys saying hi anytime to me. Um, I enjoy talking with you and meeting you. And it's just good to hear the encouraging words. You know, it just seems like everybody says, keep up the good work, JC. We're really enjoying the videos. And uh, I, I'm so appreciative of you guys for watching the videos. I think we're moving into our fourth year now. And uh, we just went over 30,000 30, subscribers, which that's pretty exciting for me. Um, of course, you know, 
When you start a YouTube channel, you're really hoping that you're going to hit a million subscribers in the first couple of years, that you're going to have, you know, viral videos and <laughs> stuff like that. But I just don't think that's going to happen with the uh, YouTube fishing videos here. Not, not in Florida. There's so many different Florida fishermen making videos these days. It's like, I, I want to say it, it's competitive because that's what it is. I mean, we're all competing for views from all you guys, right? But I did want to mention, and I haven't watched this video, but one of the, one of my favorite Florida YouTubers, and he's on the, the Southwest Coast like me, is Thonny. T-H-O-N-N-Y. I will put a link to his channel, you guys, in the description area. I love watch, watching Thonny's videos. He actually just put up a video where he teaches his viewers um, how he works his goofy jigs, his, his pompano jigs. So, um, yeah, that would definitely be a video worth watching. But don't go over there until you watch this video, right? <laughs> the size limits. Let's talk about the size limits on these fish. With Permit, Southwest Florida. Permit has a special zone way down south, okay? You can't keep small Permit way down south. But in the Southwest Florida area and other areas of Florida, you can keep them. And currently, the, the limit is it has, they have to be over 11 inches. You can keep two over 11 inches, and you're only allowed one over 22 inches. But the slot size is 11 inches to 22 inches, and you can have one over 22, and you're allowed to have two per angler of the permit. Now with the pompano, it's, now when I say 11 inches, that's to the fork, not to the end of the tail. Okay, so the, with the permit, that's to the fork. And then with the pompano, it's 11 inches to the fork. Pompano, you can have six pompano. Some guys like to leave the skin on. I'm gonna go ahead and take the skin off. The skin is really thin on these fish, so you wanna be careful that you don't cut through the skin. Filet knife is really nice. It's got a, a good flexible blade on it. It's the second time I've used it. It is really good. I always like to cut the ribs out. I don't like bones in my fish fillets. When I was a kid, I got a bone in my throat. And it was not a good experience at all. So whenever I clean fish, I always feel them really good to make sure I get all the bones. There's a bloodline that's running through this fish. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that bloodline, most of it out. I'm just gonna follow this line right here. Just kind of go on about an eighth of an inch on either side of that line. That'll get most of that bloodline out of there. Not bad, a couple of nice pieces of meat there. This fillet knife is nine nine inch blade. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a, a nine inch blade. These are wide fillets, so I'm having to work it work it through. Be interesting to see the difference in the taste too. I can do a taste test on these tonight. We'll cook up some pompano and some permit and see which one tastes better. All right guys, I'm gonna start off with a little bit of olive oil in the pan, not much. Just gonna kinda of sear these fillets. I'm gonna turn it up to a little bit over medium heat. And while that is getting heated up, I'll chop up some garlic. Has anyone been to the FWC website lately? It's been a while since I've been there, but they put in a, a new fish identification section that is awesome. I mean, they put a lot of time and money and effort into that. They did an excellent job. They actually have everything listed in alphabetical order, and they also have a search section. You can search for saltwater fish, freshwater fish, or different, you know, by different species of fish. So if you're looking for snapper, you can do a search for, you know, a snapper species, and it'll put up all the different snappers that are in Florida. I'm gonna lay one permit filet. Woo! So got some water on it. And one pompano filet. 
JC's making a mess in the kitchen. Bring you guys in for a closer look. Good one, good man. Let me get me a couple hunks of butter here too. Has anybody bought any Salty Scales gear yet? 25% off, man, that's a pretty good deal. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. What is your favorite pompano recipe if you've had pompano before? I've had it grilled, I've had it fried, I've baked it in the oven, and um, by far, this pan searing method that I'm showing you guys in this video, this is my favorite way to cook pompano, no doubt about it. She's like, I don't even bother with the other methods anymore. Yeah, I cooked them a little heavy there. Throw a little butter in there. I'm just gonna swish that around, take it off the heat, let that butter melt. I'm gonna put some garlic in there. It's like things have cooled off a bit. Get that garlic heated up, that garlic flavor. Get all up in that butter, mm, baby. I have a tendency to overdo it with garlic, but garlic is so good, I'm telling you. Flip them over. Get some of that buttery garlic goodness on the other side. Mm, 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 mm. Let's plate it. So good. A little pepper, a little salt, and some lemon. I didn't want to run to the store to get a fresh lemon. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's give it a try. Okay. I am going to taste the permit first. I'll give it a little crack here. Woo, it is hot. Give you guys a look. Beautiful white meat. Mm-hmm. That's looking good. Oh man, the, the outside is nice and crispy, crunchy. I love it like that. Mmm. Oh. Very mild. Firm. That's delicious, man. That is delicious. Let me get a little bit thicker piece. I kind of cooked it crispy, crunchy there. Oh. Wow, that permanent is awesome. All right. Pompano. I know the pompano is going to be awesome. Take a look at the pompano. You got beautiful white meat on the pompano too. Mmm. Pompano has a little bit of a fishy flavor compared to the, the permit. The pompano is a little bit mushier too. I shouldn't say mushy, more tender. The permit's not tough. Oh man, they are both absolutely delicious. I got some buttery fingers, man. All right, guys, check out the links in the video for all that pompano information. Check out the links in the description area for Salty Scales and the Miractive Knife. And for Thani's channel, make sure you check out Thani's channel, you guys. Thumbs up are appreciated. And everybody, get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya!